MDX is expanding and renovating the SR836 Dolphin Expressway, beginning just west of Northwest 57th Avenue and ending at Northwest 17th Avenue. The capacity and interchange improvements project spans 4.4 miles. The project will increase traffic capacity by adding an additional lane in each direction on a portion of the expressway. The intersections at 57th Avenue, 42nd Avenue or Lejeune Road and 27th Avenue will be completely reconstructed to improve access to the surrounding areas. A diverging diamond interchange or DDI has been proposed for the 57th Avenue and 27th Avenue interchanges. This interchange design has been proven in other parts of the country to significantly improve safety and traffic efficiency as left turns against oncoming traffic are eliminated. MDX will be the first transportation agency to construct this modern traffic solution in South Florida. A DDI works by temporarily shifting traffic in both directions to the left or opposite side of the road. This shift allows highway traffic looking to exit the roadway and traffic on the street seeking entry to the highway a greater degree of access and safety. This design also allows the highway drivers the ability to execute U-turns with ease. Now let's take a look at how drivers move through the DDI. Drivers exiting the expressway can safely merge onto the surface road without left turns across oncoming traffic. As demonstrated here, drivers are briefly on the left side of the road and they move to the right as you travel through the DDI. This feature helps prevent traffic conflicts and improves mobility on the road. To enter the expressway, drivers will move into the left lane and take the left turn onto the entrance ramp. An added benefit of the DDI is increased pedestrian safety. Pedestrians crossing through the interchange are protected behind concrete barrier walls. Clearly marked crosswalks show pedestrians where it is safe to cross the street. Under the DDI format, traffic flows at intervals. When traffic comes to a stop, pedestrians can move across the road under the protection of the traffic signals. Shown here is footage of a DDI in use at the I-85 Pleasant Hill Interchange in Atlanta, Georgia. As you can see, the intersection signage, pavement markings, and traffic lights are highly visible, directing drivers as they move briefly to the left or opposite side of the road to cross through the DDI. A pedestrian crosses in the center under the protection of a barrier wall. Drivers simply cross back to the right side of the road and exit the DDI. Additional construction will further improve the flow of traffic at the 57th Avenue interchange. Starting at Perimeter Road, drivers turning left onto southbound 57th Avenue or moving on to westbound 836 come across two distinct problems. Drivers going southbound on 57th are forced into a bottleneck by the existing conditions which reduces to one lane in order to accommodate the westbound 836 traffic. Meanwhile, drivers moving on to westbound 836 have to compete for access with 57th Avenue's northbound drivers seeking to enter 836 westbound. This conflict and the peak hour conditions increases the probability of collisions between both groups of drivers. Down the road on 57th Avenue, the same bottleneck drivers have no direct left turn to access eastbound 836. The conditions force these drivers to find the next legal U-turn and travel back up the road in order to enter eastbound 836. However, once construction has concluded, the DDI will eliminate all traffic conflicts from the interchange. This design will reroute access to eastbound or westbound 836, improve traffic flow on northbound and southbound 57th Avenue, 
and better the overall traffic flow while entering and exiting the expressway. At the 27th Avenue and 836 interchange, the existing conditions involve traffic conflicts caused by the peak hour congestion on 27th Avenue, which backs up the 836 exit and entrance ramps. Meanwhile, some 27th Avenue drivers often misuse the 836 exit lanes to maneuver around traffic and make a quick escape. This increases the possibility of collisions and interrupts the flow of traffic in the exit lanes. Back on the 836, drivers who mistakenly exit the expressway have to find the nearest legal U-turn, then proceed back down the road and re-enter the loop ramps, a highly inefficient and complicated maneuver which contributes to congestion and traffic conflicts. Once the DDI is constructed, drivers will be able to perform U-turns and exit or enter the expressway all without disrupting the flow of traffic on 27th Avenue or congesting the exit ramps. A completely new interchange will be constructed at Northwest 42nd Avenue, better known as Lejeune Road. The work will begin by widening Northwest 14th Street, which runs parallel to 836. This will facilitate the opening of a new exit road, which will remove westbound 836 traffic going to the airport from the main line. Simultaneously, the northbound 42nd Avenue to eastbound 836 entrance ramp will get a new alignment which will provide the necessary space to build the support structure for a new signature flyover. Next, the westbound 836 to southbound 42nd Avenue ramp will be demolished, while a new loop ramp, bridge, and accompanying substructure is built to move traffic from northbound 42nd Avenue to westbound 836. A new roadway alignment will provide eastbound 836 drivers exiting at Lejeune Road with the ability to head either north or south on northwest 42nd Avenue, a feature the previous setup did not allow. Lastly, the new flyover bridge will be put in place. As this process of construction occurs, the old bridge and its support structure will be demolished and moved off-site. This new bridge will provide eastbound 836 drivers uninterrupted access to Miami International Airport in an effort to improve connectivity for South Florida commuters. In the eastern portion of the project, between roughly Northwest 22nd Avenue and Lejeune Road, eight-foot sound walls will be constructed. These barrier-mounted sound walls will reduce noise for properties directly adjacent to the expressway. MDX is reinforcing the shoulders of the Dolphin Expressway to allow buses to drive on the shoulder when expressway speeds dip below 35 miles per hour. Construction of the State Road 836 Capacity and Interchange Improvements Project is scheduled to be completed in the summer of 2018. Once completed, the project will have improved mobility in the most congested portions of 836 by increasing capacity and eliminating existing traffic conflicts by moving all expressway exits to the right-hand side of the road. Through innovative transportation solutions like the DDI, and collaborating with local agencies like Miami-Dade County to facilitate mass transit, MDX is delivering solutions to improve transportation in Miami-Dade County.